Hello everyone, so in this video we will learn how to automatically add respondents data from Elementor form to active campaigns contact list. So let us begin with a small example. So as you can see this is a form that I have built in Elementor form and this is present in my WordPress account. Okay, and the idea is that once a person fills in this form, he will be added as a contact in my contact list of active campaign. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add some details. So the name of the person is Lijim O'Reilly and this is the email lijim 123 word at the gmail.com and a simple message. How about uh, awesome? Okay. And this is the phone number of Lijim O'Reilly. So let's imagine a person called as Lijim O'Reilly has filled the form. He's just going to click on send. Okay, so the form submission has been made by a person called as Lijim O'Reilly. Now the idea is that the details of Lijim O'Reilly will be available in Active Campaign as a contact. So let me just uh, go to Active Campaign and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on Refresh. Okay, so Active Campaign is getting refreshed so we can expect to find yes, we do have Lijim O'Reilly. So this is the full name Lijim O'Reilly. This is the email Lijim word 23 word at the rate gmail.com. This is the phone number and we have the time it was created. Excellent. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Elementor to Active Campaign? So here I have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Elementor and Active Campaign. Now the best part of this process is there is no need for coding skills or technical knowledge of any of these apps. Now before we begin, there are some things I have to tell you first that we are sending the data from Elementor to Active Campaign. But with Public Connect, you can also send the data to uh, similar email marketing tools like MailChimp, Constant Contact, GetResponse and many more. The process is almost the same. Okay, so in the new tab, just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com, press enter. So this is the website of uh, pabli.com, hover on products and here you will find connect. Just click on connect. So this is the landing page of uh, Pabli Connect. I'm just going to click on sign in. Now obviously I have created an account in Pabli Connect. Now you can start by clicking up signing up for free. It will just take two minutes. So let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am planning to give it as Elementor to Active Campaign. Elementor to Active Campaign. Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. It's totally up to you. And let me just click on Create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So what's the deal with these two windows? So basically, if you're talking about automation in Public Connect, it works on the concept of trigger and action. So the trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if this condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new form is submitted in Elementor, then what action should be taken? Now the action is basically we are going to create a contact in active campaign. Okay, so the trigger is the form submission in Elementor and the action is a new contact created in Active Campaign. Okay, so basically using these two windows, we are going to integrate Elementor and Active Campaign and this will be our workflow. Now you should know this after we have built this workflow, I will add the link of this workflow in the description box so that you can clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so in the trigger window, we are going to select the choose app as Elementor. Elementor it is, I'm sorry, Elementor. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new form submission. Now new form submission is a trigger event. At present we only have one trigger event that is new form submission. But in case if you want more trigger events, approach the help section, click here. And when you click on the help section, you will be directed to Pabli forums. And in Pabli forums, you can make a request that you want so and so trigger events. Okay, so let me just cancel this. So basically the nutshell here is, we are just trying to integrate Elementor to Public Connect and receive the data when a form is submitted. So let me just straight away take you to a WordPress. Okay, so this is my WordPress account 
and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new post okay new post or a new page and inside that uh, new post we will be adding we will be building a new contact form with the help of Elementor so this is the new post okay contact contact form 101 okay so let me just click on edit with Elementor okay so first of all we are going to create a new form okay so let me just drag this here form okay and what we are going to do here is at present we have three fields name email as well as the message so I'm going to add one more field okay so this field will be for uh, the last name okay so let me just uh, rename it as uh, last name so this field will be basically text okay and the label will be last name last name okay so this will be our last name we have the name we have the last name and how about we add one more field for uh, let's say phone number okay so we are going to add one more item for uh, phone number and this will be a number field so let me just uh, make it as number and the label is uh, phone number phone number okay so we have uh, the name the last name the phone number and uh, what we're going to do here is about we change the positions okay so i'm just going to bring this here and i'm going to bring this here okay so let me just correct this okay so we are ready okay so let me just bring the phone number field here let me just do that okay the phone number field is uh, at the third position excellent so now it looks like a perfect contact form now basically the idea is that when a form submission is made in this particular form the data will be sent to Publicnet. so what we are going to do here is we are just going to scroll down okay and make sure we click here on this button actions after submit we click here and uh, at present the present the default uh, action type is that uh, when a submission is made the email will be sent to that person okay for example if a person uh, fills in this form an email will be sent to him i don't want to send him an email so i'm just going to cancel this basically i want to send the data to webhook so i'm um, let me just click on this button webhook okay so at present we have this option webhooks we click here and we have to mention the webhook url and this is how you do it you go to public connect and you copy this this is the webhook url you want you copy this and then you just simply paste it here i'm sorry you paste it here okay so this is the webhook url just click on publish so i think we have uh, built a form called as contact form 101 after that we have made sure that when a form submission is made the data will be sent to public connect now uh, when public connect receives the data let's have a look whether public connect can receive yes it is showing it is waiting for the data excellent so what are we going to do here is i'm just going to uh, go to the dashboard and we are going to make some entries okay so basically we are uh, going to make an uh, experiment conduct going to conduct an experiment so let me just click on this permalink okay or if you want you can just open this in a new tab so we are going to fill some details so these are the details okay so we have a person called as tom okay and uh, this is his last name that is john tom john this is his phone number and his message is uh, awesome okay so these are the details the form has been filled by a person called as tom the last name is john this is the phone number this is the email tom cruise 123 at the rate gmail.com or how about we change it as tom john much appropriate okay tom john 123 at the rate gmail.com 1234 at the rate gmail.com we have the message as awesome so let me just click on send so a form is being submitted by a person called as tom john now the idea is that when the form submission is made public connect since it is integrated with the uh, elementor it will capture this data so let's have a look yes we have got the data so we have the name that is tom we have the last name as that as john we have the phone number so this is basically the phone number then we have his uh, email tom john 1234 at the gmail.com we have the message as awesome 
this is basically the form id and this is basically the form name okay so we have uh, basically all basically got all the details excellent now using all these details we are going to create a contact in active campaign now after creating a contact in active campaign we are going also going to make sure that we are going to include this contact in a very specific list and this is how you do it so first of all you just go to the action window and in the choose tab let me just search for active campaign active campaign it is now in the action event how about we make it as create a contact and simply just click on connect now we have two choices add new connection choose existing connection i'm just going to click on add new connection now in the add new connection we have to figure out our api key as well as the url so to get the api key as well as the url let's have a visit to active campaign so this is my active campaign account okay so to get the api url api key as well as the url let's click on settings at the left bottom you will find settings click here now in the settings you will find the option developers click on developers okay so this is the url and this is the key let me just copy the key and let me just paste it here then we have to enter the url so this is my url now remember you don't have to copy the http part okay you just copy this up to here and you, then you are going to paste it here remember this very well you don't have to include the http part so we have entered the api key we have mentioned the url let me just click on save so when you click on save you will find a set of fields the purpose of these fields is very simple we are going to create a contact in active campaign from the data that we have received from elementor via public connect so we have the first field that is email now remember this we have got the data from elementor and public connect had captured this data this is the data tom john 1234 at the rate gmail.com so we are going to map this particular detail here so we click here okay and in the first accordion you will find the detail so this is the one and we have mapped it easy then we have the first name so let me just click here and the first name is tom and we have mapped it easy then we have the last name as john so we have mapped it then we have the phone number so this is the phone number and we have mapped it so to create a contact called as tom john in active campaign all you have to do is just click on save and send us request Okay, so the response is a positive one. So let's have a look in active campaign. Do we have a person called as Tom John? So let me just have a look at contacts. Okay, so let me just refresh this. Okay, so yes, as you can see, we do have a person called as Tom John in the contact list of active campaign. Now there is something else we have to do. Okay, so we have to add Tom John into a particular list. So let me just introduce one more window. So this is again an action window. Now uh, we have to select the choose app as uh, active campaign okay because we want to uh, send John to a particular list now in the action event how about we make it as add a contact to a list so where is it add contact to a list this one and simply just click on connect so we are not going to enter the API key as well as the URL we are just going with the existing connection and make sure that it is the recent one in our case the most recent one is hashtag 33 and let me just click on save so when you click on save you will have three fields the list id contact id as well as the status now i'm going with the first thing that is status i'm going to make sure that the default status will always be subscribed okay and then we have the contact id so before we deal with the contact id let's deal with the list id so as you can see these are all the lists that is present in my active campaign account let me show you those list so these are all the list that is present in my active campaign account okay so let it load So as you can see, these are the three lists we have awesome master contact list as well as via Elementor. Okay, so for your consideration, I'm going to add a new list. So the name of the list is uh, Elementor Data. Okay, and in case of the list URL, you basically add the URL of your website. In my case, I'm planning to add this URL. Okay, so this is the URL, just a random I found on the internet, but make sure you add your own url the website your own website's url in the list description i'm just going to add i am going to add you in this list i'm going to add you in this list and let me just click on add so a new list called as uh, elemental data has been created 
So when I go to Pebble Connect and when I click on Refresh, I can expect to find this newly created list in the dropdown. This is because Pebble Connect is thoroughly integrated with Active Campaign. Yes, we do have the list. So this is the one, Elemental Data. Excellent. Now we have to figure out our contact ID. So this is our contact ID. So when the first time the contact was created, it will it had created a contact ID. So let me just show you the contact ID. So just scroll down. Okay, and let me just show you the contact ID. Yes, this is the contact ID. And make sure that we have to enter a dynamic one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click here. Okay, and go to the second accordion because this is where our data is. Okay contact ID and scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down it's at least at the bottom so yes we have mapped it so this is the contact ID okay so the general idea is that we are going to create or insert this contact okay that is Tom John in this particular ID list ID that is elemental data okay and the status will be subscribed so let me just click on save and send test request Okay, so as you can see, the response is a positive one. So let me just straight away take you to uh, active campaign. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, click on the newly created list that is element of data. We click here. Okay, so let's have a look. Do we have uh, a contact called as uh, Tom John? And the status will be subscribed. So let it load. Yes, we do have a contact called as Tom John in this particular list that is element of data. Excellent. So the presence of this data confirms that we have a successful integration between Elementor as well as Active Campaign. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window. Okay, let me minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. So basically, this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Elementor to Public Connect, and after that, you have made sure that you create a contact in Active Campaign from the data of Elementor. After that, you have added uh, this particular contact in the list. So basically, in this video, we have successfully added Elementor and Active Campaign. Now, not just these two software, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Public Connect. Now, if you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate public.com. And also, if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.